Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to load picture styles into your Canon EOS camera. I'm using a Canon 7D. However, if you're using a 5D, a 60D, etc., etc., it should work the same in all the different uh, EOS cameras. So, first things first, you need to load the Canon EOS utility. You may have to run an update, and if you do, I'm going to go ahead and include the link to the drivers and software page for the Canon 7D. If you're using a different camera, just navigate to this page and click right here on this uh, breadcrumb link that says Can uh, EOS Digital Cameras and select your model from the list. Once you get to the, your model's particular page, you're going to navigate to drivers and software. You'll select your operating system. I'm using a Mac OS, so I'll select that, and I'm running 10.7. Next thing I'll do is I'll scroll down, I'll see software, and I may need to run this updater right here if uh, the disk I received had an earlier version of the US utility that came with my camera. I did have to run this update today to make sure that my US utility was up to date and did not crash in the version of OS that I'm running. So once you have that installed, you're gonna need picture styles. There's several uh, picture profiles or picture styles to choose from, but I'm gonna show you Technicolor CineStyle. Technicolor CineStyle provides a pretty flat um, uh, image enabling you to increase the dynamic range by stretching it in post. This picture profile is going to be good if you know you're doing color correction. If you're not doing color correction, you would not want to use this picture profile as it is intended to be color corrected after you shoot your video. So once you navigate to Technicolor's website, if you're looking to load this picture profile, it's technicolorcinestyle.com slash download. You'll see this free download link. You'll click on it. After you do so, you'll enter your information, click on submit, it's going to send you an email to, that you use um, to fill out this form with a link to the download. I'll include the link to the Technicolor's website um, within the video's description. After you've downloaded that, you're going to launch your EOS utility. I'll go ahead and minimize this. I'll launch the EOS utility. You're going to want to make sure that your camera is connected via USB. If it is connected via USB, these, these uh, menu items will be lit. If it is not connected and powered on uh, via USB, you will not be able to access these uh, particular menu options. Go ahead and click on camera settings and remote shooting. When you do so, it's going to launch a remote uh, shooting slash settings window, right? Over here, under this particular button, you may be already seeing in this shooting menu a picture style, or you'll see this menu here. Either way, if you're in this particular menu, you're going to want to go ahead and click on one of these user-defined picture styles, for example, uh, number three. Over here, once that is selected, um, you're going to come over here to register user-defined style. When you click on that, it will launch the register picture uh, style file. So you can be in any of these three options. Obviously, I already have Technicolor loaded into my third option. You can click on this folder here if you do not. You'll navigate to where you downloaded the picture style to. I put it in my pictures folder for easy access as my other folders are fully cluttered. You'll go ahead and select that. You'll click on open and when you do so, it will be loaded here. You'll click on OK and when you click on OK, it will load that into your camera. Now, in order to save that to one of your custom button buttons, you'll have to save it to one of your user-defined custom button presets. Otherwise, you'll have to load it each time you use it whenever you're using it in aperture priority, shutter priority, etc. But if you load it and you save it to one of your user-defined um, camera functions, then it will be there every time you switch to C1, C2, C3, etc. Guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And if you like my content, go ahead and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Till next time, I'm out.